Gemini. How are you? It's your force fairy here. Nice to see you again. Gemini, what's going on this week with the galaxy of Geminis? Let's take a look. Gemini. One more. What is going on with the galaxy? I feel like my mind is on fire. It's funny, because here's a little side story, starting with the strength card. Now, when I was saying that, it's like my mind is on fast forward. It's just thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking. So you might need the strength to slow down the mind, to meditate, to really quiet the mind to get into your feelings is what I'm hearing. Let's see with this strength card. The strength. Don't hold back, Gemini. I'm, I'm hearing that. Don't hold back from moving forward and again, aligning, getting in alignment with the, the shadows and the light self. Yeah, see the seven of swords. This is strategy. This is thinking of what I'm going to do next, how I'm going to do it, what I'm going to communicate, how I'm going to communicate. This is beautiful, moving forward with a strategy. This is the chess player of the Zodiac for some of you. And the magician, what are you manifesting, Gemini? I want to find out oh, all of your dreams. Do you notice we have the Seven of Cups and the Seven of Swords? And that's where it begins. It begins with your thoughts. Then it moves, as I said, into your feelings. And that's where manifestation happens. Bottom of the deck, your creativity, Gemini. Loving it. Let's shuffle that back into the deck. That little spirit side story, which gives us a little background into what this week's Gemini read is going to be about. Having the strength to calm the mind, to focus on hearing the mind, and then feel what those dreams are going to, how they're going to feel when you manifest them, Gemini. I'm so excited for you. I love this energy. All right. The galaxy. What are the galaxy of Gemini's up to? Now I'm curious. Now I want to find out what you're up to this week. Let's take a look. Right there. Let's take a look. Gemini, you don't want us to see. This is very interesting because her eyes are open. And do you see that third eye? This is very interesting. The two of swords is peace of mind. As well, in the tarot, it can be a, a sign of confusion, but I don't feel confusion. I feel peace. You bring peace to your mind. Your eyes are open. You've taken the blindfold off. Your third eye, I see, is open. But you're still protecting that heart with some of your truth. But you're seeing clearly and as we saw in the side story, how to move forward. Now, what's underneath this? Ooh, the king of pentacles is what the energy that crosses this. So this is you grounding these thoughts, grounding these ideas. And this is how manifestation, this is Taurus energy. This is how manifestation is brought into this 3D world is with the grounding and the boots to the ground. I have to say that when, when it comes to manifestation, when it comes to what you think about, you bring about, yes, yes, yes. And yes, there's lots of creator or content creators. Um, there's lots of, of information on how to manifest. But as someone who has manifested many things in her life, including my daughter, you have to put boots to the ground. You have to do the work. Because if you just think about it and don't take any action, it's just thoughts. And then you can get lost in your thoughts without taking action. So, 
to ground these thoughts is to go through, it starts with the mind, and then you, you, you imagine what it is you want. Let's say, I imagined um, this channel. And then I feel what it is to, to see my, let's say, my content up on a channel. Okay. And then it's putting, I record every day. I read cards every day. I practice and practice and practice. When I'm not recording, I'm still practicing. That's the work. And then the editing. I had to learn, oh my goodness, through my children and their knowledge of how to use the editing software because I had no idea. But I did it and I'm doing it. And so with these actions, with this, this, this is manifestation and here we are, right? So then the consistency where I upload every single day. And here, out here in the 100 Acre Woods, I don't have a broadband. I have a little thread of a broadband. So it takes, I have to upload the night before for the next day's videos because it takes over 12 hours to upload. That's why it's not consistent as far as the time of day that it appears. Sometimes it appears in the morning, early morning. Sometimes it appears in the afternoon and other times it's late at night because of this very thin, interweb that we have out here in the hundred acre woods it's it's <laughs> it's non-existent and those are just examples of what it means to put those boots to the ground that taurus work ethic that manifesting ability to make your thoughts and dreams come true as we saw in the side story now your higher self gemini what is your higher self saying oh don't hold on don't be afraid and don't hold on because in your card, this character is holding on for dear life, for that which she knows, maybe for that which she was taught as a child. All of those, and do you see that, that worrisome look on her face? Don't hold on because I think you see you've got, you've got those coins in your eyes. You see the potential that you have when you ground your thoughts and feelings, your focus and foundation is success. Beautiful, this is beautiful energy. You're already imagining and feeling the success. Or for some of you, you're already experiencing success. In the past, there is the new beginning with truth and clarity, integrity. That's what this sword of truth, this, this ace of swords is the sword of integrity of knowledge. And you know what knowledge is, Gemini? Knowledge is power. Not to get distracted with the power because for you it's about the knowledge. That's why your energy is so curious. To learn and then to see which is truth. What is truth? Is what's being put out there truthful? With integrity, you're clearly seeing. And these are new beginnings. So, the near future, Wow, didn't I say? And this King of Pentacles, look what's in your eyes. The Ten of Pentacles. Wow. That's what the King produces. The King also protects. This is in the near future, Gemini. So what you're working towards, what you're building, don't hold on to any notions that you can't. You know the truth with this Ace of Swords. Moving forward, this is bringing you to the Ten of Pentacles. Now, how do you see yourself, Gemini? I love this Seven of Wands. This isn't a defensive card at all. When it comes to your deck, this is your energy. This is why this is your deck. This is curiosity. Curiouser and curiouser, says Al. She's holding on to her books. She's holding on to knowledge. She wants more knowledge. She wants more because she has curious. She has questions. Look at all these wands. Questions, questions, questions. Now, do you notice in this deck, the six of wands, it's not the same wand because it's not the same energy. This is very curious. And you're manifesting through, your, through this childlike sense of wonder. You're manifesting through this energy, through this curious energy. And you're wondering and you're learning. And with every question, you find the answer. You find the truth. Gemini, I love this. How 
other people see you look at that they see you making your dreams come true and this is this is the cups this is the the get up and go to do some research to go down those rabbit holes of curiosity and to feel other people see you feeling into these questions feeling into this information feeling what it is to make your dreams come true now you're hoping or fear oh this is beautiful this page of cups is the beginning of a new relationship with yourself self-love holding one cup but also for some of you forgiveness finding the forgiveness within thyself allows you to forgive others and with understanding which is what this ace of swords also talks about is with understanding comes compassion and have compassion for others not to judge this is a judgment free zone here at force fairy tarot judgment free so wherever you are on your spiritual journey it really does start it changes in an instant when you forgive yourself first so that then you can forgive others and the potential outcome the two of pentacles so we start with the idea the two of swords and for some of you it's making a tough decision you've had to make tough decisions yes and we end with the Two of Pentacles. Now, in a traditional Rider Waite Smith deck, the juggler, one pentacle would be up while one would be down, which really um, speaks to me about where your focus is, right? Something is taking more time, effort than something else. It could be two jobs, it could be um, your job in, in family, your home, it, and friends, whatever that is to you right? Whatever those two coins are to you. But I see this as very balanced. In your deck, it's balanced. And I feel you're balancing out income streams. These are different income streams. These are different um, places where, and it's going to take off. You could be an employer. You could be not only an employee, but on the side, an employer of others. Again, for some of you. You could be having different income streams come in and go out. And you're finding, you're balancing this all out. This is Capricorn energy. Taurus. So, bottom of the deck. The energy, is that which you might not see? Oh, I think you are very much aware, Gemini, of what you're manifesting and how to manifest and what you're doing to make these dreams come true. All right, let's take a look. Let's go deeper on this, Gemini. Let's go deeper and clarify. Clarify these cards that are out on my table. Starting with the Two of Swords. What does Gemini see clearly? Because I see her staring right at me. She is seeing clearly. Clarity with the Ace of Swords. And this is in the recent past. So you could have just taken the blindfold off, just recently opened up that third eye or learned how to do that. To really see into your future, which is this Ten of Pentacles. Generational wealth. And again, Gemini, each pentacle is a value. Integrity, honesty, stability, security, kindness, love. What do you value, Gemini? Each pentacle will be different for each Gemini. What do you value? That's what you're passing on if and when you have children. And that's what those children will pass on to their children. That which you teach them, you give them. You give them morals and values. Are they in line with divine law? These are all questions that you might be asking yourself here with the Seven of Wands. So, let's clarify this Two of Swords for my galaxy of Geminis. Oh, 
No, they say keep going until that card stops. Mm, Gemini. Let's go deeper. I know. It's difficult. There we go. The Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is a celebratory card. This is finding your, what I call, soul tribe. It's a friendship group. This is very much a friendship card. And for some of you, you had to cut out friendships that you either outgrew or that were not in the line with where you're going in the future. And that is to this Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Wands, there was a lot of responsibility to make these cuts is what I'm hearing. A lot of responsibility. And as well, it's right beside this Ten of Pentacles. If you are a King of Pentacles, a business owner, um, there's a lot of responsibility, especially if you have other people's families in the palm of your hands. If you are responsible for paying them, for providing work, for providing a paycheck for other people's families, that's a lot of responsibility. I really admire um, small business owners, especially with the COVID lockdowns, really putting pressure on them to having to make those cuts for some of you. Now, the Four of Pentacles. That's Capricorn energy with the devil. Interesting. Because the Four of Pentacles is Capricorn. The devil is Capricorn. So is it also for some of you? Because this is Capricorn as well, all here. So your higher self is reminding you not to hold on to fear, not to hold on to doubt, not to, because do you see how this little girl, she's, this energy is just a little bit nervous. So I'm holding on to that which I know. I'm holding on to I know that I've made this money with this way. Uh, and I'm a little bit hesitant to maybe take a leap of faith. Oh, the Empress. The Empress. The Empress is divine femininity. Divine feminine power. Are you a little bit hesitant, Gemini, with your femininity? Whether you're male or female, it does not matter. We all have divine masculine and divine feminine within us, and it is divine. Whether or not we see it, harness it, or even have access to it, that's all on an individual basis. So I have fear with the devil, doubt with the devil, concern, worry, Again, that Eight of Swords, mind prison, about this. This could be a mother figure for some of you. This could be the mother of your children for others. But this is divine femininity that's in you and that you could be building this empire with for some of you. So what is it that you are hesitant about? that you're falling back into these mental mind traps. Oh, and Gemini, I just heard mind traps that you might be, you, you might be setting on, up on your own, that your own mind is sending you into questioning. Let's get some more cards on the table. Six of Wands, the success, the focus and foundation. There is a tower. Your success could come, could crash down. And the Emperor, okay. This is very, very powerful energy and the responsibility right in the middle of both the Empress and the Emperor. This is what as you can see, is going to create this Ten of Pentacles. But you have a lot of responsibility. So, with this Six of Wands, which is success, victory, and recognition of those around you, of your success, this could come quickly for some of you with the Tower that you did not even expect. You could be worried. Your higher self is like, with new levels comes new devils. 
and to really anchor yourself into this loving empress receiving birthing energy for some of you you're pregnant or you've you're having if you're the divine if you're a masculine you've gotten a, an empress pregnant that's just for some of you let's see what this ace this is in the recent past ace of swords wow okay we're going there next the truth is you are building and when i see <clears throat> emperor sorry emperor and empress energy it's that that energy that creates babies when you have an empress and an emperor come together that's what creates that stability and security and that's your truth in the recent past and moving forward with it good with your clarity with your truth what you want how to go about getting it putting the work into it and having and again with the twins you have both i i dare say opposing energies within gemini that's what makes um and you're ruled by mercury and that's what makes gemini so amazing <clears throat> that energy of being able to see and experience oppositions and that's exactly what the emperor the empress and the emperor are oppositions but when they come together they create this ten of pentacles strength we saw that in the spirit side story having the strength To, oh my goodness, live your dream. That's how other people see you. They see you as the Ten of Pentacles. They see you as having strength. They see you. Let's go here next. This is how other people see you. Oh my goodness, they see you as the King of Pentacles. Right here. Sitting on your throne. This is Taurus energy. Where's Taurus in your chart? And moving away from that which no longer you do not align with. And I keep hearing you've outgrown. For some of you, you've, you have or you're experiencing your Saturn return. And that's when you really, I don't want to say, I'm going to say spiritually, grow up. You really, it's that Saturn return that you really start grounding your energies, investing your money, investing in yourself, investing in that which you find important. And for some of you, it could be family. Now, how you see yourself? I see this as very curious energy. Curious about a queen of pentacles. Curious about working together. Now, interesting how we've got this king and queen together of that grounding earth energy and wanting to work together with it could be a Capricorn for some of you because we've got Capricorn up in this four the devil the two of Pentacles all Capricorn energy there's a lot of Capricorn energy on the table there's a lot of Taurus so This is very interesting because I really feel there's two different ways I could read this as really balancing out because we got we have an earth couple both a king and a queen of pentacles that work well together that we have and you're curious you're just curious so this um, divine feminine might not be in your life right now because your higher self it's up in this higher self position because then the next level up is that Emperor and Empress energy right because the Empress is the queen of all Queens the Emperor is the king of all Kings and when you have that balance of all four elements in the divine feminine and all four elements in the divine masculine I really see the magician so male or female it does not matter what you are, male or female. By the way, there's only two genders. Let's, I'm going to always say that because that's, that's what I believe. You can identify as anything you want. Really, you can. However, there's only two, male and female. That's beside the point. Page of Cups is forgiveness. 
So what is it that you have to forgive, Gemini? You're not, you're a wounded warrior right now. You're not really, you're recuperating. You're not really success. Don't apologize for your success. Hmm. This is very interesting because the sixes are right above each other. So you left and went to calmer waters. Maybe you left one part of your life to go reach for success, to go earn success, maybe for a family. And you've balanced out two different elements of your life. Now this is a hope under fear. Are you afraid of success? It's almost like you're apologizing for your successes. No, 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 Gemini, don't do that. If you are behind this wall, the nine of, of wands is, again, in traditional Rider Waite Smith tarot deck, it's, it's behind a wall. The eight wands create a wall. So are you communicating that you need time to really go deep within, to start for pages, to learn how to communicate and have success with your emotions, with your feelings, to be able to, and you're curious about it, to be able to, how do I ground? How do I take care of myself? Because the queen takes care of herself. She takes care of children. If you are a parent taking care of your little ones, finding time, working with others, maybe working with your partner when I have the, the king and the queen of pentacles and really grounding that which you value. Do you value being at work all the time? If you are finding the strength to be at home, maybe you're working from home. Let's find out what this two of pentacles is about. The two of pentacles is clarified by the queen of wands and the five of cups. Now this is very interesting because the queen of wands is a very warm and confident queen. She knows how to lead. She also knows how to be that bridge and communicate with her higher self. So Gemini, are you really tapping into that divine feminine energy to build a bridge between you and your subconscious, between you and your higher self? And this for some of you could make you feel very uneasy because it's, it's a real deep emotional, where's Pluto in your chart? Um, deep emotional um, feeling and energy. Are you disappointed? Because this, as the traditional Rider Waite Smith image shows, you're crying over spilt milk. You're looking at three spilt cups. And it's interesting, we have the three of cups here. And you're turning your back on two cups. Interesting and being disappointed. Now, Gemini, don't be disappointed because that's where forgiveness of thyself comes into play. If you've made decisions that now you might go, oh, I didn't make the right decision. I thought I had clarity. But that's not what I'm feeling. That's not what I'm seeing. I'm seeing you step into this clarity. So do not doubt your power, do not doubt that Queen of Wands energy. Balance that out. Balance it out. Balance out the masculine and feminine as we have here on the table. Balance out that masculine and feminine to really tap into that Queen of Wands energy, which is going to bring about this Ten of Pentacles for you. Now, the bottom of the deck. What is clarifying that magician. Oh, Gemini, the truth. And look at that sword right there. Clarity on what it is you want. We've got it twice here. You want that Ten of Pentacles, Gemini. You're going to get it. You're going to get it. You have the King of Pentacles twice out of two decks. 78 cards in each deck. Let me tell you, Gemini, this is no joke. King of Pentacles and King of Pentacles grounding that energy. That's Taurus. Where's Taurus in your chart? 
What house? What do you have in that second house, which is the Taurus house? What, what is in there? The Queen of Pentacles. And I see the Queen of Wands and Pentacles. And that is really, because both of these queens are tapped into the subconscious. The Queen of Pentacles is resourceful. She knows how to take what she has and bring it down into practical application. With the Seven of Wands, all your questions. I see you wanting to work in a loving way with your soul tribe, with others that are on that same frequency. And that's the Emperor and Empress frequency. So let's get some angel numbers on this. I see 103. I see 107. Let's do those. 103. Oh, 107 is right here. Your thoughts and intentions are manifesting before you. Believe and you will receive, Gemini. 103. Know that God sees you as a divine and worthy child of light. Know that. Know that. I, let's see. I see. Let's do 966 and then 663. 966. In order to increase your awareness, be radically honest with yourself. And I have the Ace of Swords twice. So you're moving forward with and after being radically honest about yourself, about what it is you want to create. And that could very well, for some of you singles, be a family. So create it, Gemini. I see 663 is the next one I see. 663. Your energy requires your honest focus and attention at this time. It's important to follow the path that will take you to joy. Ooh, rather than your ego's wishes and false promises. And that's what that devil talks about. That's what you're a little bit nervous about. And that's what you have to tap into the empress, your feelings, to really figure out. Oh, I'm loving that one, Gemini. I see 375. Let's go to 375. Now, any numbers that you see on my table, Gemini, that I do not read aloud, those are personal messages for you. Grab your book and take a look. If you do not have an angel numbers book, go to the description box below, click on the link, and grab yourself one for any future or previous reads. 375. You are being reminded to feel comfortable with change, and change is difficult, but you're a mutable sign. So you can do this. The key is remembering that God and your angels are always with you. So the tower is a major change, huge change. And you successfully have gone through the power and come out emperor. So let's just point that. That's your focus and foundation. So that's huge. I see. Let's do three. Let's do three, six, nine. I love that number. Three, six, nine right here. Three, six, nine. Last one. You may feel sensitive at this time, but it's important to listen in as the emotions rising up in you are messages about what's most important for your journey moving forward. And that's what I see for you, Gemini. And I'm sure I'll see you again. Take care. From your forest fairy, bye for now.